Hey everyone, it's Chrissy, and today is Saturday, and I've just got a few minutes, and then I'm heading out to town to get with my girls, and uh, we're going to go spend the day at my mom's house and eat brownies and play cards. We love to play cards. We love to play any kind of games, and Kayla is making homemade brownies with cream cheese icing, so I might have to indulge a little bit today and eat a brownie, but I did color my hair, and I just wanted to get on real quick and show you how pretty and shiny it is when it's first... When I, when I first colored, a lot of times I will wear it back in a ponytail because the conditioner that comes with the, uh, the color is a little bit heavy and it makes my hair a little bit limp and it doesn't have much body anyway. So I usually just pull it back in a sleek ponytail, uh, usually a day or two after I wash it or after I color it and condition it. And then usually about after two days, it'll start getting some fullness to it and then I'll start maybe wearing it different ways. But even with it first colored, I can't even wear it in my, uh, usual bun because it's real slippery and slick. But I love my hair dark. I've wore it dark for for many years, but I was going to show you the color that I use. Let me fix it to where it's not glaring, and it's just Revlon Color Silk, uh, 3D Color Technology, um, and it's in the natural blue black ammonia free, and it's it's just like two dollars and ninety seven cents at our Walmart, and it does a great job. It'll last for a good four to six weeks, which I don't wash my hair. It's so slickery, slickery now. That's a new word, slickery. But it's so slippy, slippery and slick. I'll get it in a minute. And it feels so good, but it's really limp. And that's with my extensions in. But as you can see, it's a perfect match to my extensions. And I love it. It's a, it's a good color. And I've used it for years. And uh, it'll last every, anywhere from four to six uh, weeks. But I'm uh, just going to do a real quick outfit of the day. Oh, yeah. And I always use like a volumizing mousse. Volumizing mousse. I never say my INGs. When you are from the country, you usually leave them off. And it's like volumizing, talking, looking, seeing, eating, going. It's always un at the end of everything instead of pronouncing our INGs. And even when I sing, I do that. And it's a pet peeve of my sister-in-law. She hates it. But anyway, I use just plain white rain volumizing mousse. And it just kind of gives me some lift at the roots. And uh, like I said, after a couple days, my hair will be easier to fix, actually. But I like to wear, I like to use a volumizing mousse of any kind, usually. I just go with a cheap brand. I do not use expensive products on anything. And you'll find that. Now, I will invest more in skincare, as you've seen with my uh, Peter Thomas Roth, which I'm still enjoying that serum. But I am going to repurchase my, uh, I'm going to go to my dermatologist in a couple weeks and get my Retin-A because I really am missing my Retin-A. I think I'm just going to use it a couple times a week instead of trying to use it every day. But my girls are waiting on me out at Hope's and I don't have any jewelry on. I've just got uh, some CZs in. I've just got my gray uh, smoky eye going on today. And this is the sweet cream liquid lip color in um, strawberry cheesecake. It's a beautiful pink color. And I'm just going to stand up and show you my outfit of the day. Uh, we may do some vlogging, but we'll be so busy with my mom and dad and eating and playing games. And I'm not sure what all I'll get in there today. I might be able to uh, uh, record some of the grandkids or something playing or something like that. But I hope you guys have a great weekend and a great Saturday. It was very pretty and sunny here, but the longer the day goes on, the cloudier it gets. So, and I think it does better without the overhead lighting. It, it, my last video had a really bad yellow glare, and I didn't like that at all. So, you just live and learn, don't you? But I'm just going to show you. My shirt is wrinkled, of course, but I'm just going to my mom's. But I don't even know the brand of this shirt. It was one of my thrift store shirts that didn't have the size or the brand in it, but it kind of looks like an Old Navy. It reminds you of an Old Navy blouse. But I'm going to move my chair and show you my outfit, and then I'm going to have to head out. I'm just wearing this button up, and I've got, got it tucked all the way in today for my mom, so it doesn't aggravate her. But I'm just wearing some gray straight leg jeans, and they're just kind of as you can see, they're like bleached out looking. They're real faded, and then they got distressed knees. Both knees are distressed, and they got the fraying at the bottom. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that on my stool. On my stool, stool is a hard word for me. I don't know why. It's a simple word, but I can never get it out. Stool, stool. 
But anyway, when I stand back there, you'll be able to see my whole outfit, hopefully. And I got some, what I call my grandpa shoes on. Uh, they're just a, like a bluish gray color. And they're from, by a brand called X-Peel. Uh, I think X, X-Appeal. E, it's, I think it's just an X, just a plain X, and then Appeal, A-P-P-E-A-L, I think's what they are. But, yeah, here's my look. Just real plain today. I love these jeans. These are the only really gray pair of jeans that I have. I have gray leggings and stuff, but I do need to really get me another pair of gray jeans. Let me step on my stool. If you can see, my jeans are frayed at the bottom. I don't know how well you can tell. But I got these jeans at Plato's, Plato's Closet. But, yeah, here's my look. Here's my ponytail. But yeah, just a real casual, everyday outfit. Just something I would wear just every day. To this. Actually, I'll be going to Walmart tonight when I get home. So, just my little go-to outfit. But you guys have a great Saturday. And I'm still just packing my, still packing my uh, Amy Kestenberg bag. I think it's really cute with this outfit. I took the, uh, what did I have on? Blue? I took the blue polish off, and I'm just letting my nails rest for a couple of days. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'll probably paint them either tonight before I go to bed or before I go to church in the morning. And I want to try to get on in the morning and talk to you a little bit and show you my uh, outfit of the day. So, but uh, I don't know if I'll catch up with you any, the rest of the day. But if not, you guys have a safe weekend. I love you. And, uh. I will, uh, it's a little fuzzy. I took my straightener over it, but the, te the natural texture of my hair is very fuzzy. I have to work with it to get it straight. So that's usually like why I embrace messy bedhead hair is cause my hair wants to do that naturally anyway. But anyway, I like my look. Excited about spending the day with my kids and you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.